This orthosis is called a hand-based ulnar gutter and was fabricated for a small finger P1 fracture after surgery. Some of the materials that you will need, thermoplastic, paper towel, a pencil, Velcro, and scissors. First, trace the patient's hand over the paper towel to give yourself a pattern if needed. Place the paper towel over the thermoplastic and trace again. Once traced, then you can place it in the hot water to heat it up. Remove it from the water to cut out your pattern. There are other options and ways to fabricate this particular orthosis. You can provide more thermoplastic along the dorsal hand, or you can provide a hook between the web space instead of a thumb hole. I chose to use a thumb hole for this particular orthosis. Also, post-surgery, pins are normally involved, so in order to provide protection so the patient does not hit the pins, providing a small pin hood with thermoplastic will cover them if need be and provide protection. After you pull the thermoplastic out of the water, have your patient in a relaxed position in slight wrist extension. First, place the patient's thumb through the thumb hole to make sure that it fits correctly. Then you can roll the edges of the thumb for comfort. After ensuring that the thumb fits properly, you can then start to mold the patient's hand while also making sure the ring finger and the small finger are as close to 90 degrees of MP flexion as possible. Next, hold this position to let the material dry while also making sure there is enough space on the ulnar aspect of the small finger for support. This may take you a couple trials to ensure that it fits properly and to make sure that the patient is in the proper position. The material should also clear the long finger so the patient is able to flex both the index and long finger during the day. Next, you want to use the hot water and round the edges of the orthosis, ensuring that there are no pointy edges. Also, place back onto the patient to ensure that it fits properly. Next, use the hook, Velcro, and place along the volar aspect of the ring finger and small finger, as well as along the palm of the hand for strapping. Again, there are other ways to Velcro and strap. I chose to do it this way. Using a heat gun to heat up the Velcro will also allow the material to stick better. Once you are finished securing the Velcro, place back onto your patient and begin to use the soft strapping to strap your patient in the orthosis. Use two straps for the ring finger and small finger. Depending on where the pins are, you want to place one at the right above the DIP joints and same with the PIP joints, again depending on where the pins are. I also chose to create a Y strap to go through the web space and along the dorsal aspect to support the hand.